a lowering of the US interest rate may be necessary, but the downside risk is that it's going to produce a weaker US dollars. And a significant weaker US dollars may cause the inflation to creep back up again. Today, I will share a little hack on how to track and preempt the US dollars direction. My name is Con Hao. My work in this channel is to study behavior science and finance, discover correlation between different markets, and uncover potential opportunities. And before we get into the subject, please do take some time to read into the disclaimer. And for a start, I thought to give you my conclusion from my study on the US dollar's direction. Its long term is down, and its mid term range to a breaking point. And it's really going to depend on how US is going to manage its debt into the future. And let's get started with currency pair. Then we're going to look at the currency itself. And many of us are maybe pretty familiar with currency pair. When I say currency pair, we're always viewed as two currency. With pound dollar, uh, when we see that pound dollar is moving up, it means that the pound is strengthening and the US dollars is weakening. And how about dollar yen? When we look at dollar yen, it means in this case, we saw that dollar is moving down. It means that the US dollars is weakening and the yen is strengthening. But I'm going to look at the currency itself. And this all these currencies are against the US dollar. So when we look at in this perspective, it means that when we see that the yen is down, it means that yen is down and US dollar is going up. British pound is down, it means that British pound is down and US dollars is moving up. And when we saw the Swiss is moving up, it means that Swiss is moving up and the dollar is down. So it became very clear. So when I put all these six currency itself, and do a comparison, I will have the better gauge of where the US dollar is moving. And let's study the US dollar's main direction or this long term using the trend line. And I want you to take a few moments to look at this quarterly chart that we can track all the way back to 2016 and before. Where is the US dollar's direction? And remember, all this currency are against the US dollars. We can see that Swiss seems that it's breaking the high. And these are the trend line that I always like to use. Earlier I say that the long term for US dollars is down. It means that the Swiss is moving up. That's why I'm seeing it's down. Then the midterm is range and is at its breaking point. And let's study about the Swiss, the long term. And earlier I did mention about it really depends on the US step. And we can see that the Swiss itself, over the years, over the last 25 years, it has strengthened a lot against the US dollars. If you just look at the number itself, and especially after 2022, you could see that it have broke above this downtrend line and it seems that it's trending up. And one of the main reason that I notice is the fundamental reason is that this is the numbers from the official website the end of 2023, their borrowing stands at 142 billion Swiss. And their debt to GDP ratio is 17.8%. And I would say that compared to US debt at about 34 trillion US dollars right now, in this expects Swiss is better managed in, ter in terms of their debt. And that's the reason that we see that the Swiss over the years has been strengthening against the US dollars. And let's look at how about the other currency pair. And we can see that the other currency pair that the pound has kind of broke above this downtrend line and is testing. It is testing. And it really depends on the how the uh, UK is going to manage their debt and compared to the US. Over the long term, if they manage it well, maybe uh, it may break above and it go higher. If it's not managing too well, then the whole thing is going to get back to its range again. So it is at its breaking point right now. And let's study about the Japanese market. And of course, we know that uh, the news 
for the BOJ uh, in uh, after the high interest rate on 31st of July at the quarter basis point, uh, the whole stock market went wild and they also say that they're going to uh, reduce this QE program. So they are very determined to increase the interest rate to make the Japanese yen attractive again and to reduce their money printing. And that's what we, they are trying to do. But will they succeed? Uh, therefore, we could see that the Jap Japanese yen is under attack, has been weakening quite a bit, and the uh, people in Japan uh, are kind of have to live with high expenses, inflation, and it's never easy for them. So. I think it really depends on, earlier I did mention about, it really depends on over the long long term, how the Japanese government or the central bank is going to manage their debt. And but for the time being, what I'm seeing for the Japanese market is this, and this is what we're seeing on the quarterly chart. And I'm going to go to the weekly chart to take a look at what's happening here. And we can see that uh, this line drawn is the quarterly chart, and I'm going to use this simple trend line techniques, but yet it's so powerful. I'm going to make some adjustment here that we can see that this downtrend line is beautiful. And since the uh, BOJ have hiked the interest rate in 31st of July, we could see that there's some breaking point here. And I would say that in the midterm, the yen itself, in this case, we're seeing the yen futures, it may range bound and maybe test the upper limit. So what I'm going to do, if I'm going to trade the midterm for the Japanese yen, I'm going to buy on dips. To conclude this tutorial, to trade in each currency outright, you may study into their debt and debt to GDP ratio in relationship to the US and to develop a sense of its main direction of each currency itself. Then use the trendline techniques to trade on the direction on short, mid or long term. The market are always telling us on their next move. Stay tuned for my coming tutorial. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Join us in our weekly case study and discussion. Click on my profile icon or description below to find out more. Feel free to leave me any comments below. I love to exchange ideas on what is about to come. Really happy that you stay through this tutorial. You have many great trading weeks ahead.